Hi my dear students welcome back to my class hope everyone are fine dear students this video is dedicated for everyone who are attending SSLC 2022 board examination and in this particular video i am discussing about the concepts which are been discussed by the science resource person in all india radio program for your 2022 science examination preparation without delaying much i'm continuing the video dear students you all know that when we look at the science question paper it may be the model question paper or the state level preparatory question paper the question paper is divided into three parts physics that is part a chemistry is part b and biology is part c so today i am discussing with part b chemistry dear students by studying the chemistry you will score 25 marks in examination and you all know that in chemistry there are totally five lessons which you have to study for examination first lesson is chemical reactions and equations followed by acids bases and salts metals and non metals carbon and its compounds and periodic classification of elements so by studying these five lessons you will get 25 marks in the examination see as discussed in the radio program you always have to start from the easiest concepts and the concepts which are frequently asked in the examination let us now start with the first and most important and easiest concept which will be given in the examination is from the lesson periodic classification of elements because here you can expect some questions because they are direct see firstly when we talk about periodic classification of elements so for this particular lesson you will get two marks question or three marks question okay you will either get two marks question or three marks question okay so what are the things you want to study firstly you want to study about four laws that is dobereiner's triad law newland's law of octaves mendeleev's periodic law modern periodic law so out of these four laws any one of the law can be asked in the examination so you have to study without fail all the four laws next you need to study about the modern periodic table and also the mendeleev periodic table differentiation that means you should know the differentiation between them they don't ask you to write the difference but they may ask you in the examination how the modern periodic table is different from the mendeleev's periodic table so you want to know the aspects of the difference which is between uh, the modern periodic table and also the mendeleev periodic table so this will help you to easily answer in the examination next you want to know this particular topic called as you know the identifying the average mass by using the dobereiner's triad law when we look at dobereiner's triad law so you know that the middle element is sum of the average of the other two elements so if they ask in the examination they can ask a problem related question here they can give you the mass of a and c and they can ask you to identify the mass of b you need to use the formula a plus c by 2 so when you divide this by adding the above number you will get the average mass of the middle element that is b so this can be expected question next you have to know about the limitations of newland's periodic table and also the mendeleev periodic table both the periodic tables limitations you have to study so it's a definite question because in most of the question paper it has been asked next you also have to know about what is mean by groups what is mean by periods and you want to study about the metallic property that is we will call it as a trends in the periodic table you need to study about the metallic property non metallic property and also the atomic size see when it is skill based question so they particularly asked from this particular concept metallic property is nothing but the electro positivity non metallic property is nothing but electro negativity my dear students it is the other name for these two and i am doing the crash course for periodic classification of elements i will explain this most of you who are watching this video might not know that i am conducting the crash course that means i am explaining each and every lesson uh, which is there for your examination in one shot 
and the other next day i will be explaining the most frequently asked questions or the important concept from every lesson so if you are new to my channel watch my crash course videos and also you can take out the playlist and watch the scoring packages yes these are very important and when it comes to these you should know what happens to metallic property across the period down the group and what happens to non metallic property that is nothing but electro positivity across the period down the group and similarly for the atomic size okay so now these are from the lesson periodic classification of elements my dear students okay if we observe both the model question paper and also state preparatory paper four marks is been allotted for periodic classification yes next question uh, that is the next concept is carbon and its compounds see when we look at carbon and its compounds you are very lucky actually because only half of the lesson is included for your exam so the important topics that you have to study without failure is first one is the catenation and tetravalency these are the unique properties of carbon dear students study the definition of catenation definition of tetravalency they can ask you why carbon is so special you have to write these properties and explain or they can also ask individually for one mark next you need to study and practice the electron dot structure of the various saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons and also functional groups you must study the homologous series many times they ask by giving certain compounds they will ask the homologous series it is discussed by the resource person that homologous series concept is also very important they stressed okay next moving to alkanes alkenes alkynes which are nothing but saturated and unsaturated you can get the formula or you can also get the difference between saturated and unsaturated or they can ask difference between alkane and alkene okay so you should know the difference you should know their general formulas yes following by you should learn the table see in your textbook table 4.2 4.3 4.4 4 contain some formulas name of the compounds do learn all these things they have stressed in the radio program you should know you should learn from these tables okay apart from that you should learn about the functional group okay all the functional groups alcohol aldehyde carboxylic acid and ketone followed by you should also know their molecular formula structural formula and also electron dot structural formula in my crash course i will teach you if you are new to my channel please watch the crash course if you have any doubt you will understand or you can also watch a one shot video which has been released for carbon and its compounds i have explained by using the blackboard completely the carbon and its compounds lesson following by you have to know some of the questions which are been given from the textbook part up to up to the half part that means you have to study up to uh, you know the functional groups till that whatever the questions are given you have to refer okay this is also stressed in program and you should know what are the number of single bonds or the double bonds present between the benzene benzene structure also you should know cyclohexane structure you should know okay and you also should learn how to identify the number of covalent bonds between the compound if you write a structure how many covalent bonds are present between these they can ask that may be five bonds or six bonds or seven bonds you should know to identify the number of bonds okay so this is all about the carbon and its compounds when we look at the chemical reactions and equation so today morning itself i had completed the crash course of this particular lesson so you can check out in my channel the live was there today morning so when we talk about this particular lesson you have to focus on the diagrams diagrams are very important in this lesson so in your examination from the chemical reactions and equation total 5 marks is been allotted so you can get one four mark question or along with one mark one question or it can be split it totally five marks will be allotted so diagram 1.6 electrolysis of water you must learn then you must learn about the types of chemical reaction four types of chemical reaction and combination reaction decomposition and its types that is thermal photo and electrolytic decomposition reaction double displacement reaction you have to learn next you want to understand and learn what is meant by exothermic and endothermic reactions here they may ask some of the you know skill based question or the knowledge based question we say okay so they may give a statement respiration is called as an exothermic reaction why you have to state the reason 
so you should know what is exo and what is endo and they may give one of the equation and they may ask you to identify whether it is an exothermic or endo so you have to be prepared for this particular concept next you must learn oxidation and reduction reaction very important my dear students you want to know about this particular topic and rancidity and corrosion are again the most important concept from this particular lesson so if you study these many concept definitely you will get five marks okay moving to next acids bases and salts here you must learn about the acids and bases concept what is the difference between acids and bases why do we call it as an acid what is the cons what concentration is more in an acid you should know that so you have to know that acids are more in h plus ions bases are more in oh minus ions and you should learn the diagrams 2.1 and 2.3 that is reaction of zinc granules with the dilute sulfuric acid and acid solution in the water conduct electricity dear students you also have to focus towards the ph values and the natural resource of acid which is present in 2.3 table in your textbook and you also have to learn about why do we use the base to neutralize the ant sting it is because the ant stings contain the acid called as methanoic acid the other name for methanoic acid is the formic acid when the ant is stinging to you what happened this particular acid entered your body you feel irritation so in such condition you have to apply a base which is called as baking soda which is given in your textbook so that what happen acid will react with the base that means it combines with the base it will neutralize and reduce the irritation so such type of questions will be asked in the examination we want to understand about the amphoteric oxides see amphoteric oxides are very important concept you have to note down next chloralkali process that means the products released during the chloralkali process and their uses See, alkali process diagram will be not asked in the examination it is in page number 30 but the product released chlorine hydrogen what are their uses will be asked okay it is given in the textbook that is in front of chlorine which are the products that is what is the uses of chlorine they have given and also you should know which gas is released at anode which gas is released at cathode this these are the important concept you want to know about chloralkali process but diagram will not be asked next and most important thing you have to learn from this lesson is you want to 100% learn about two uses of all these bleaching powder baking powder plaster of paris washing soda baking soda you want to know their formulas okay how are these formed and their uses definitely this is very 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 important as said by the resource person next aluminium oxide is called as amphoteric oxide why they can ask in the examination they can ask aluminium react with the acid as well as also aluminium will react with the base okay so why it is called as amphoteric oxide because it will react with both acid and base they may ask you to write the chemical equation also so please do learn this and finally you have to learn about the you know all the chemical equations which is present in acids bases and salts lesson okay Moving to next C, you have to focus towards metals and non-metals lesson. In metals and non-metals lesson, only half of the lesson is there. That is only up to occurrence of metals. After occurrence of metals, from page number in English medium, in page number from page number 49, from occurrence of metals, further concepts is not there for your examination, dear students. So when we look at this, action of metals with cold water, hot water and steam correctly uh, note down the spelling it is steam steam there is a small, small mistake here so action of metals with hot water cold water and steam you have to note down see i have noted down here what are the uh, which are the metals which will react with the cold water sodium potassium calcium similarly you have to note down the metals which will react with the hot water so name the metal which we will react with the hot water magnesium because magnesium does not react with cold water it will react with hot water so how i have made the list here similarly you have to make the list for the metals which react with cold water hot water and also the steam so this will help you a lot in the examination this content is given in page number 43 so read the textbook okay next you must know the physical and chemical properties of metal okay very important and you must know Physical properties of metals means if they are malleable, lustrous and sonorous, they can ask you a skill based question or a simple understanding level question. So 
the bells which are being used in the temple are made up of metals why because they produce the sound so what do we call this property as we will call it as sonorosity so like this they will ask in the examination a give reason question you should know the properties and the meaning of that property you must know next diagrams 2.3 and uh, 2.1 and 3.3 actually this 2.1 is as i told you from acids bases and salts but here in 3.3 that is action of steam on metal this diagram is very important from metals and non metals lesson dear students so moving to next you have to know about the reactivity series see you have to know which metal is more reactive which metal is least reactive so idana nenpit kolake to remember this okay i have posted a video that how can you remember the elements in an order i have posted a video do check that video is available in my channel next you have to know about how do metals and non metals react with each other metals and non metals react with each other to form an ionic compound how does it react so it is also given in the page number 47 okay you have to 46 and 47 both the pages you have to read next final concept you have to know about the ionic compound properties okay so ionic compound properties if you look at that ionic compound properties along with that you also have to learn about the formation of sodium chloride and magnesium chloride that will ask in the that may be asked in the examination or for 3 marks or for 4 marks either for 3 or 4 marks definitely page number 47 and also page number 48 see formation of sodium chloride and also the formation of magnesium chloride both you have to learn dear students so if you don't know this stay tuned to crash course so today we have started chemistry first lesson so in further uh, my crash courses which i am doing for other lessons you can also understand these concepts dear students i hope this video is useful if you find this video useful don't forget to share with your friends so totally for chemistry 25 marks is there so easy lessons are chemical reactions and equations carbon and its compounds and periodic classification of elements other lessons are also easy but these lessons are very very easy you can get 14 marks by reading only these three lessons okay so don't miss all the 25 marks so if you are feeling difficult to study all the chemistry lessons choose the lessons as per the blueprint which i have posted and study and all the best for your examination in the neglishing the physics portions or physics concepts which are been discussed in akashvani program until then stay tuned to my channel thank you